Hi, I've been taking pictures for many years now and over time I've built up a great setup of analog cameras. Mostly I shoot street scenes and documentaries, so it's important to me to have discrete cameras that aren't too noisy. But before showing you the analog cameras that I use, please like and subscribe to my channel, this helps me a lot. And if you are a regular, welcome back. Let's just start chronologically with the camera that started everything for me and taught me the first basics of photography. With the Minolta X500, everything started for me. At the beginning of the 2000s, good digital cameras were still very expensive and many photographers sold their analog gear cheaply. This way I could afford really good technology for little money. With the Minolta I made my first steps, which were mostly pretty bad, but the camera forced me to learn how to expose an image properly. Looking back, it helped me a lot to learn photography with film, because I really had to learn the basics. Also, the Rocco lenses are really good and the cameras are very sturdy. The Minolta X500 was followed by the Minolta XD11. I was young and I was impressed by the fact that the Minolta XD11 has some identical parts to the Leica R4. The shutter is made by Psycho and the camera is really nice and quiet, unlike the Minolta X500 which sounds a bit like a giant door getting slammed. So I was able to slowly start shooting more street scenes and to move around a bit more unobtrusively. The Minolta XD is a great camera that, just like the Minolta X500, I still use from time to time. Today, however, I use both of the Minoltas more for portraits and abstract photography work. I own the Leica M4P since 2020. I bought it because I've been shooting film again in 2019 and during the pandemic I developed two project ideas that I wanted to use film for. However, I didn't want to use my big SLR systems X500 and XD11 from Inalta. Instead I wanted to use a real rangefinder because street and documentary photography is a big part of my work now. I was able to get the Leica M4P reasonably cheap because it's not as popular among Leica fanboys as the Leica M6. The Leica M4P was made in Canada and not in Wetzlar, which is probably the only reason why the camera is not so expensive. The Leica M4P is almost identical in construction to the Leica M6 except for the missing light meter. And after I took it in for service, it works exactly as it should. All functions are in the right place, the shutter release is pleasantly quiet and the camera's lack of a light meter forced me to learn the Sunny 16 rule, which I now even use with my digital cameras. Medium format film I shoot with my Rolleiflex. I love the 6x6 format and I have huge fun shooting portraits with this camera. The Rolleiflex also teaches me patience. With medium format film you only have 12 frames per roll of film and you have to think carefully about what you're doing. Before I had the camera I imagined it would be much more cumbersome to shoot with the Rolleiflex but the camera is surprisingly quiet, easy and quick to use. I could already snap some street candles with it. Since I have become familiar with the camera, I can well understand why it was Vivian Mayer's first choice. Since I also shoot digital and I have enough sharp lenses with perfect optical abilities, it was important for me to get a Rolleiflex with the optically imperfect Carl Zeiss Tessa lens, which gives the images much more soul. In 
This is a small overview of the analog cameras that I use. I think you can see from the selection that I enjoy changing camera systems and that I'm not concentrating on a single system. I like the challenges of working with different camera systems and I find that I can work much more creatively when changing them from time to time. What cameras or camera systems are you using? Tell me in the comments. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.